Hi, this is Jose Cernuda with GreatDivers.com and in this video I want to talk to you guys about buoyancy checks. Now this is the most important skill that you could ever learn or that you could ever do in scuba diving and let me explain what a buoyancy check is. Essentially you're going to get inside the water and you're going to hold, in my case I have a one pound or a two pound weight, half kilo, one kilo and through trial and error we're going to find just the right amount of weight to make our bodies neutrally buoyant. And the reason why this is really important is a lot of divers are overweighted being overweighted just simply means that when you're diving, you're exerting more energy than you need to, first of all, because you're carrying more weight than what you need. And aside from that, it's also inefficient. You're going to waste more gas throughout your dive. And if anything were ever to happen, heaven forbid, but if something was ever to happen, then you just have more weight that you need to overcome to come back to the surface. So you want to have just the right amount of weight to be neutrally buoyant at the end of the dive. And you also don't want to have too little weight because you obviously don't want to float to the surface. So the idea here is we're going to find just how much weight we need for our bodies and then we'll do the same for our gear and we'll add those two numbers together. The reason why we do it separate is because the gear can change. I might go to a different cylinder, I might go to a different BCD and those variables might change the weighting but my body's usually going to stay the same. Okay, now you also have to account, I'm doing this in a pool, so if you go to the ocean, salt water, you're going to want to make, you know, you're going to want to do this again to make sure that you have the right amount of weight for the density of the salt water. So you do this according to the environment you're diving in. But let me explain what this is and then you'll see how it looks in the water. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a one pound or half kilo weight and I'm gonna hold it behind my back. I'm gonna take a normal inhalation. So this isn't like a super deep breath or anything. I'm just gonna take a normal inhalation. I'm gonna hold that and then I'm gonna ever so slightly ease myself into the water. Now it's important that I go in the water really slowly because I don't wanna bob up and down, but I'm gonna ease myself very slowly as I'm holding my breath and then I'm gonna see where the water level is at. So what I'm looking for is, I wanna find just the right amount of weight where when I lift my feet up off the floor and I float or I sink, what I'm looking for is I'm trying to find just the right amount of weight where the water level, as I keep myself in a vertical position, comes right to my forehead. So I'll take a one pound weight, hold it behind my back, lift my feet up, I'll do this the first time and I'll see where I'm at. And if that's not enough weight, I'll go ahead and I'll try it again with two pounds. If it's too much weight, I'll take the weight off. So it's trial and error where I go up and down with the weights until I find just the right amount of weight to hold behind my back and get the water level right to where it's at my forehead. So hope you understand this. If not, hit the little comment box before and ask the questions. But I'm gonna get inside the water right now and you'll see what this looks like once you're inside the water. Really, really important skill. This is probably the most important skill that you will ever do as a scuba diver. Okay, now that I'm inside the water, I'm gonna go ahead and do my buoyancy check. And remember, this is gonna be different for everybody. So depending on your body, you might need more or less weight than I do. And it's also gonna depend on the water itself. So I'm in fresh water. If I go to salt water, this is gonna change. If I change my wetsuit, for example, to a thicker or a thinner one, this will also change. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my weight, which I have over here, and I'm gonna hold it behind my back. Now, I don't want this tape to go forever, so I already have the right amount of weight that I need but you're gonna to need to do this through trial and error. It might mean that you start out with no weight and then start going up and up and up in one, two, three, four pounds or half kilo, one kilo, et cetera. But you need to go through and trial and error, try to find the right amount of weight so that you get that water level just to your forehead. So what I'll do is I'll take my weight and remember it's a normal inhalation. You don't need to take a deep breath or anything, but you'll go ahead, you'll take your breath and then go really slowly into the water because you don't wanna bob up and down. So I'm gonna take the weight, I'm gonna take my breath And what you should see there is that the water level is right at about my forehead level there on that, on that particular buoyancy check. And I know that this is the right amount of weight for me, the one pound or the half kilo. For you, it might be something else, but make sure you get in the water, make sure you do a buoyancy check. I promise you it's gonna make your diving so much more efficient when you have just the right amount of weight. And then I'll show you in another video how to do this, but what you'll do then is you'll do another buoyancy check for your gear and you'll combine these two weights together in order to have the right amount of weight for your scuba diving. So if you like this video, make sure you click on the like button, share it with your friends, and make sure you visit greatdivers.com. I've got a lot more information there on how to be a great diver.